with Augusto oh, Tanchino Mendes to taking take. on Eddie Cummings. And this, What's ladies and gentlemen, is the ADCC Combat. rematch that you guys have been waiting for. Of course, these guys went at it at ADC. Eddie Cummings lost to a penalty point for a guard pull. But, uh, you know, a lot of people were saying he, he had the better of the threats, the better of the entries. You know, just couldn't quite get the, the final grips he wanted on, uh, on Tanquino. Yeah, and Eddie said um, he just felt it was down to fatigue, that last fight. And now he's working three times a week on his strength and conditioning sessions. So that could be the difference here tonight. Has been doing a lot of gymnastics base training, really trying to get his body physically ready. He felt that he tired slightly towards the end. And he's in on a leg early here. Tanquino spinning, trying to clear his knee line. Coming, switching back and forth with the foot positions. The little tank doing everything he can to free his right leg up. Yeah, I'm told that, uh, you know, the, the clamp that Eddie Cummings has when he squeezes his adductors together and really grabs your leg is something uh, quite extraordinary. Coach John Danaher there calmly giving out instructions to his student, Eddie. Yeah, again, Eddie really trying to crank that knee back in, switching over to the other side. Tanquino circles his legs and frees. And Eddie Cummings coming out of the gate fast. I don't think he wants to see this one drag on. Yeah, Eddie was doing a fantastic job of controlling the legs, then making it very difficult for Tankini to escape. Eddie Cummings really bursting onto the scene the last couple of years, smashing everybody in uh, the EBI tournaments he's been taking part with for fantastic heel hook submissions at EBI 4 to win the full $20,000 there. Augusto actually made a derogatory remark claiming Eddie's hype is unjustified <laughs> until he has fought and beaten the best in the world. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. A lot of people have been saying, you know what, uh, Augusto Mendes doesn't necessarily submit that many people. He, you know, is he more of a points-based player? Does he play that pressure passing and controlling game? He is a believer in progressive jiu-jitsu. Yeah. that we saw in that ADCC match. He kept trying to push forward. And that was really, the, you know, what was coming out of this, this matchup when it was announced. It was that if Tanquinho was going to sub Eddie Cummings, he'd have to really go forward. He'd have to go into that dangerous guard and look to try and pass in order to get those dominant positions to set up his submissions. Yeah, here Tanquinho is doing a pretty sensible thing by playing off his knees, which makes it a lot harder for Eddie, Eddie Cummings to get into positions like this. Yeah, he's got to go digging for those feet. Oh, and Tanquino manages to, to free himself. Straight back at it, though. Great balance there, showing to stay on his feet as he was escaping his legs. Eddie known to set up his leg locks a lot of times with his butterfly guard. I mean, the, these guys got their black belts 11 years apart. December 2004 for Mendes. Uh, Eddie Cummings, 2015 from John Danaher. So, you know, Tanquino has been at this a long time. And, you know, I think it's fair to say he's competed against a, a higher level of established competition than Cummings. Yeah, but here Eddie Cummings is setting up a very nice attacking position. He's fed that leg through. Um, yeah, now he's now he's in a strong position. If he can knock Tankinio down, he can start attacking the heel. Yeah, Tankinio immediately going to his belly to try and pull his legs oh, free. Scramble. We just see John Danaher in the corner of Eddie Cummings. It's, uh, it's interesting. I can just hear some of his comments coming from below us, and they're very methodical. They're very, you know, like matter of fact, and just do this, believe in the system, believe in the sequence, and you'll find your opening. It's as if he's watching a chess match here. Yes, yes. Mendes has made quite the statement escaping so many of these leg locks, I feel. Big attempt at the arm drag from Cummings. I am really interested to see if, as we get towards the, uh, the end of this match, if it goes that deep, how that strength and conditioning helps him. If he does have that one more attack that he was hoping it would give him. Yeah, Tanquino is doing a very, very uh, good job of hiding his feet. He keeps circling them out whenever Eddie tries to, uh, to tie them up. He's hip switching so well in midair, isn't he? He's always trying to stay a, a bit connected with the upper body and really, you know, be dynamic with those hips and those knees and change the angles on Cummings. He just shoves him backwards. <laughs> Eddie 
Hashtag Polaris3 to get involved. Arm drag from Cummings. Tanquinho looking to pass off it. I already he's got some pretty good arm bars as well, so that might be something to watch out if he, if he gets too deep, or if Tanquinho gets too deep in the underhook. Yeah, can he, can he use any of those upper body attacks to, to make Tanquinho forget about the legs momentarily? But yeah, as you said, Tom, you know, Tanquinho staying on both knees, forcing Cummings to elevate him, to do the hard work, to get underneath him, you know, and that's going to help, you know, tire Cummings out a certain amount as well. Yeah, it looks like Tanquinho is looking for the, like, a head and arm position again to start passing, like, with very low hips, which, again, is a good, good tactic against someone who's trying to attack your feet. But now Eddie's locked up that leg again, so he's in a very strong um, heel hooking position if he can, if he can knock Tanquinho back. Yeah, we saw this both legs again. He's on the, he's on the leg. Oh, this rolling to the outside. Tanquinho trying to spin. That is so very tight. The knee is firmly trapped inside, but Tanquinho butt scoots, kicks away. And that is a very impressive escape. Oh. And he has okay? accidentally, I think, cool. kicked the mouth guard Time. of Eddie Cummings out. But frantic moments for Angusto Mendes. You can't deny how tight that leg grip was from Eddie Cummings. Could have been a smart veteran move there to buy himself some time. Eddie's good? looking a little bit dazed here. Do you want a minute? I don't think, it was, I don't think it was deliberate. Thanks. We're going to give him a minute to recover. Yeah, it looked like Tanquinho was trying to push on his chest. And just at the same time, Eddie came up and uh, got kicked in the jaw. But it shows you just how much pressure... We'll give you a minute, one minute. Just recover, yeah. Tanquinho was under, really trying to turn to his belly, kick the leg free. I mean, it's a fantastic position, yeah, wasn't it? Go, he you he so. locked up one leg go, and then used it to, just, to loop over so. the second. And really, with both legs, it's uh, a double threat going on there from Eddie Cummings. Yeah, it makes it very hard to, to spin out or to use the other foot to, uh, to defend, defend the heel hook attempts from um, Eddie Cummings. If you watch a lot of the time he does that, he will attack. He'll control one leg and then use the other. The other as well. Yeah, I've got to say, the, the last uh, Polaris event, Eddie Cummings came out with okay, kind of a new shin to shin okay. entry that not many people had seen. And, Come you know, we were trying to call it on the night. And, it, you know, I was very thankful some people put some breakdown videos out afterwards because these guys are always trying to innovate these different positions. And, you know, Eddie said quite publicly what he's working on a lot now is where are his, his feet in the transitions that he's doing? Where is he hiding his own feet? Where are his own control points? You know, not so much worrying about the attack grips, it's where am I hiding my own feet to be defensive at the same time. I think that's an intelligent strategy. If you're a leg locker, you're always kind of putting your own feet in that position as well. So you need to get good at the hiding those feet. Well, he's looks like he's uh, managed to secure that single X. Tanquinho strip, strips the, uh, the heel off. Yeah, Tanquinho's trying to put a lot of pressure down on that leg to avoid the, uh, to avoid the, the foot lock attempts yeah, and also try Eddie, and pass. Eddie's going to turn him belly down as well. I think here, there we go, Tanquinho rips out once more. <laughs> and they're starting to approach the halfway point here, and it's been very much like their ADCC encounter. Eddie Cummings attacking the legs repeatedly. Tanquinho looking to stay basey, stay passing. And uh, yeah, uh, Eddie Cummings has definitely had the better of attacks or the better exchanges so far. He's really making Tanquinho work. And that's the first time we've seen Tanquinho almost get uh, completely passed. Had an arm grip, perhaps. He, re he reframes and recovers guards so well, doesn't he? He says he's very tight. It's very hard to get inside, like an inside control on either his you know, head and arm position, anything like that. Tankino needs to be careful this position. I mean, there was a lot, of, uh, a lot of talk from quite a few people after their ADCC encounter. You know, our leg locks this silver bullet that you know, other people have been neglecting. Some people were saying, well, you know what, elite grappling is elite grappling, and, you know, it's not always going to be be the weapon you think it's going to be. But Eddie Cummings is finding these entries here. I think he's slowing down a little bit, lads. Yeah, yeah. Tankino is known for having incredibly strong top pressure. Um, if you look at all of his fights, he applies it very, very well. So he could be, you know, wearing on Eddie a little bit. It's hard to deal with that. You know, all these positions where he's trying to strip the grip off the back of the head, mm -hmm. you know, extend away. That's a tiring game. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're through about uh, eight and a half minutes here, and Eddie Cummings is once again going to the well, but every so often he gets a, he gets a good bite, but Tanquino just, uh, he turns, he rips his leg out. Yeah, Tanquino's doing a pretty good job of keeping weight on that leg now. Here we go again. He's trying to just clear that knee line, push those feet away. Oh, and he's going for a leg lock of his own. Got to be careful. Very nice spin up from Tanquinho. But Tanquinho seems to be gaining confidence as well. He's a lot more, 
you know, comfortable to engage in these kind of positions. He's no longer on his knees. He's now standing up and passing. Um, yeah, I think he feels he's survived the best that Eddie's got to offer at this stage, and he feels oh, Eddie fading. Position. Yeah, look at that. He has snatched that head and arm grip, and he's trying to crush Cummings. And I think you're right. It's a good observation that he's starting to stand in his passing more. He's starting to mm -hmm. kind of allow these positions to happen, happen a little bit more. And I think he's just sensing that, you know, he's got the pace to keep pushing in this one. And Yeah, well, it, you know, they've been fighting for 10 minutes now nearly. And uh, the sweat's going to become a factor again. It's going to become a little bit slippier, um, certainly for Eddie to, to, to hold on to those legs, but also for Tanquinho. Again, Tanquinho immediately standing up. At what point do you think he's got to really start trying to get his passing game going? Do you think he's going to wait till well, he really seems the to last be doing minutes, it now? Or? Yeah, he's he's uh, letting Eddie get to that kind of leg lock position and trying to put a lot of pressure down on him, you know, and then try and pass from there. And if he can flatten him out, it'll be a really strong passing position. Yeah, I'm dying to see what happens if he if he can get past this guard. But Cummings, it's coming so good, and you know, Danaher just calling out five minutes left to work. I mean, it's, it's important to know Eddie did fight a 40-minute match um, just, a, just a few weeks he ago, did, so his yeah. conditioning is probably not, not going to be an issue. I think he, he took that one on a rest decision. That yeah. was against uh, Manchester, I That's believe, correct, yeah, yeah, yeah. from Marcelo's. And Manchester's a little bit bigger than Eddie as well, so it's probably a slight, um, you know, he's going to be used to kind of having this pressure down on him. Yeah, another very good aggressive, aggressive yeah. passer there. Oh, beautiful pass from Tampino. And this is the first time we've seen Tampino get a dominant position, but he's going to back away and allow the guard to be established. Do you think that was just saying, hey, I can get past the guard now? No, I think he, uh, Eddie did a very good job of defending. He kept everything in tight, you know, didn't expose anything. Um, and Tankinho knew that holding on to that position, he's not going not gonna to be able to progress and possibly put himself in danger. Tankinho just wiping the sweat from his brow. It's got to be getting hot under those lights now as Cummings tries to use that inside butterfly hook. He's pulling his own leg over to secure that Ashigarami. Yeah, again, Tankinho seems to have become much more comfortable in this position as the fight's gone on. And that could be his experience showing as well. Again, Cummings getting dragged across and just not able to hang onto the knee bar. And I think you're right. We're definitely, it almost seems like Cummings is starting to tire on those, those grips. There's a little less snap, a little less ex explosion. And of course, as you say, the sweat is going to start coming in. Yeah, and now Tankinio can smash the Eddie's hips down or step over. He's going to be in a strong position. But Eddie is keeping everything very, very tight, defending very, very well. Looking to leg lace again, Eddie Cummings, showing some dexterity there as he cranks that outside foot over the hip. Let's see if uh, Mendez goes to snatch that head and arm again. There we go. Yeah, he's getting a lot tighter. He's getting a lot closer to Eddie, which is, um, is, is definitely bad for Eddie. He needs to keep, keep control of that distance a little bit better. Ooh, looking for uh, a bit of a snap down from that position now. Now looking to press a little bit more freely forward. Knee slicing a bit more aggressively. Yeah, he's definitely stepped up the pace in this last minute or so, really putting the pressure on Eddie now. Well, you can see why it's called the little tang. He's just relentless and hasn't slowed down a little bit. Two and a half minutes left. Cummings again on a bite of the leg. Tanquinho spins out. It's not for lack of trying on behalf of Eddie Cummings, but Tanquinho seems to just be able to, to separate the feet, to pry the knee loose. He's always had that first line of defense, that clearing the knee and, and separating the feet. He's never really had to fight the, the grips, so to speak. Oh, this is a very strong position for... Oh, he, Eddie Cummings <laughs> managed to recover, but it was a very strong yeah, position. Yeah, big leg drag almost. Yeah, he'd really smashed the legs over. Yeah, nice Cummings. Still playing from this sitting guard. Tanquinho looking to pass. Wonder if we'll see maybe some uh, more dynamic movement now. There we go. Again, lovely. But the knee's been, lovely you know, there's, there's a big knee there. Let's see Tanquinho. Okay, Tanquinho's forcing that. Oh, knee on belly. Is he going to stop the... Oh, you could see the foot was going to circle back over. I mean, if you don't get low quick, someone who's that dexterous can really just... 
Oh, absolutely. Put yeah. you in a tangle pretty quick from yeah, there. Yeah, Tankinio made a good decision by, by stepping out of that. Final minute of this match. Two more left to go. Some bad blood up next. AJ Agazam taking on MMA veteran Jake Shields. And, of course, our main event following that. Husuma Tokinho Pulhara is taking on Eddie Cummings' his teammate, Gary Tonin. Oh, Tankinho Tank looking for a full lock of his own. The crowd trying to get them oh, going in the last 45 really seconds. Tankinho is really having to scramble out of this position. Thirty seconds, and you hear the crowd shout one more ready. And this is what he wanted. This is what the strength and conditioning was for. One more attack. And you know what? Twenty-eight seconds left. He's got one more attack. Last ten seconds. Tanquinho again, head position, very unpleasant in the face. But we're going to see out the distance here as Eddie Cummings looks to tie up the leg one more time. And ladies and gentlemen, we find ourselves with a draw. The rematch ends with both guys. Eddie, give us your thoughts on that fight. What was going through your mind when time after time, after time you were finding those entries but just, just not quite able to maintain that control? I mean, everything went according to plan. I think that's how it should look against a good opponent, um, you know. I think he went after me, I went after him. We both made progress. Um, yeah, I mean, the legs, they were closer this time than they were our first match, I'll give you that. So, getting better. Sorry, guys. Was, was anything different in what he brought to the table in this match from, from the first time? Um, not particularly. I felt him look for maybe a toehold from my Ashley once or twice. Um, same lead passing. He switched up leads halfway through. I don't, I don't know, what, that, you know what happened there. That might have been mixing it up on me, so... You, um, you've been doing a lot of strength and conditioning in this one, looking for that, that one last attack. How, how do you feel the strength and conditioning helped you in this one? Do you guys think I got that last attack off at least? Yeah, maybe? All right, so it's working, getting better. Have you enjoyed uh, coming over to Polaris again and showcasing your skills for us? Oh, I, I absolutely love it, man. I love it here, I love the crowd, I love the venue. Yeah, it's always, always a pleasure competing here. It's been an honor having you, Eddie. We'll Hope to see you again. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Cummings! I'm here with Augusto Mendez. Give us your thoughts on that. Do you, do you feel like you did what you wanted to do here tonight? Of course not. I came here to meet him, you know, but he's a super tough guy too, you know. Uh, my, my style is always good submission, but I'm progressing on the fight, you know. I try to get a good positions, good controls, and then good submission. I will not play that game be like, Butt with the butt on the ground, try to squeeze the foot with each other, you know. My jiu-jitsu is more basic jiu-jitsu, you know. I'm looking forward to pass, mount, to take his back, and then go the submission. But he, he did really good defending the past couple of times, and I was not, I was not able to, to go to the submission, so good job for him. You, you looked as the time was ticking on that you really upped the pace, you started being more aggressive, and really, you know, trying to, trying to push the pace on him. Did you think you'd, uh, you'd find a way past that guard at the end? Uh, I tried, you know. I tried my best to, to pass. I went to his side a couple of times. I went to the neon belly. And I know his knowledge on, on foot lock, heel hooks. And uh, I felt he could go to my foot before I, I go to some attempt there. And I thought it was better like to back up. So but I, I really tried to push more the pace in the end to try to get some team because I was getting frustrated to, to pass a couple of times. So. We've had two matches. Are we going to get uh, we're going to get the third one at some point? I oh, I hope so. You know, maybe next time it'll just submission all no time. I don't know. I'm still one victory ahead. You know, one victory for me, one draw now. Let's make the third one. It'll be good fight to him. He's a great guy, good, a great opponent, and I'm looking forward for that. It's been a pleasure having you, ladies and gentlemen. Augusto Tanquinho Mendez.